Hi fabulous crocheters, it's Janie here with a very quick video to show you how to use the Mystical Lanterns blanket pattern that was designed by me in 2016 to make this lovely um, mirrored and um, adorned um, pelmet that a friend of mine, Rosemary, made. Um, I first got this idea about making a pelmet using the blanket design uh, when I visited folklore yarns in Belfast and they had one of these lovely um, pelmets up on one of their dresses in their coffee shop. Um, so you'll need this pattern, the Mystical Lanterns blanket pattern. You can get the shawl pattern as well because what you need is the pattern that shows you not only how to make the motif itself but also how to add the half motifs and the border at the top. Okay so what um, Rosemary has done when she's made this lovely um, Miss Lantern's Pelmet, which I'll just pull down there slightly, is she's made full motifs and half motifs and then she's joined them together and put an edging on. But the technique I want to show you is how to put a mirror onto that to get a really pretty effect with a mirror in the middle of your mystical lanterns motif. I've got some here actually that I made a few years ago and I made them as Christmas decorations. So you can see there the little mirror that's in the middle and that's just been squished in and sewn into the center of the um, decoration. So what you need to do is you need to make a motif and you'll see that mine is quite a lot bigger than Rosemary's. She's obviously got a much tighter tension than me. But this is a Mystical Lanterns motif and I've sewn in all my ends. It's ready to go. And then what I've done is I've made a ring and filled it up with stitches. So I've made, in this case actually, I've done eight chain and filled it up with 16 double crochet. That's US single crochet stitches. And I've left a really long tail on that there. I'm going to move that pattern out of the way so that you can see the beauty of the pelmet a little bit more. Um, so there we go. I've made the um, the ring and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the mirror. This is a 19 millimetre mirror. You can get 15s which are a bit smaller but this is a 19 millimetre mirror and I'm going to place that over the mystical lantern and then I'm going to sew. I've left a really long tail. Did I say that already? It's got a really, really long tail. I'm going to sew that over the top of the lantern to encapsulate the mirror into the motif, the crochet motif. To make a really neat ring in the first place, there's a little trick you can do to get rid of the slip knot because sometimes rings don't look so neat if you can see the slip knot at the centre. I've made eight chain in this instance because I'm going to make the ring to um, fill up with stitches. So I'm going to put my hook into the first chain I made, the very first one, to make that ring. And then what I'm going to do is just make sure that the tail end of yarn goes over my hook to the back there. Can you see I've put the knot towards the back? It's over the yarn I'm using. And then I'm going to do my slip stitch before I start my ring and that um, the next row of stitches. And what that has done is it's put the knot to the back of the work. So the knot is behind the ring. So from here, what I'm going to do is fill this ring up with 16 double crochet. So at this point, I do one chain to get me to the height of the row and then fill up this ring. Whoops. With 16 stitches. So here I am with my ring full of stitches and I'm just going to do my slip stitch at the top there to finish off that neat ring. If you feel you need to put more stitches in then do so but you just need to make sure it's really nice and full of stitches. Then what I'm going to do is cut my yarn and draw the tail end through make sure, making sure I leave plenty of yarn because I'm going to use that to sew the um, ring onto the motif. So what I'm going to do now is I'm holding the mirror in place on the Mystical Lanterns motif there and I've got my ring that I've already made and I've made it in the same colour, you could do it in a different colour if you want to. And then what I'm going to do is just over sew using the tail end of yarn and just I'm splitting through each because it's there's the same stitch count on both pieces, there's 16 stitches on the Mystical Lantern and 16 on the ring so I'm just going to split through each treble and go through the side of the chain 
on the um, ring and just match stitch for stitch. I'm making sure that's under my thumb so the mirror doesn't see how it's wanting to poke out, but just make sure you hold the mirror in place Oop. and just over sew that in place, matching stitch for stitch. So here I am at the end of that. I've sewn all the way round, got to the end there, and then I'm just gonna sew that yarn through to the back of the work, whoops, like that, and it's all sewn on ready. I think it's a really nice technique, and the, the mirror is not in any danger of coming out of there because it's encapsulated by the crochet ring. Hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching. Bye.